Hey, what's going on YouTube? So back with my third part of the NCAA 06 race for the Heisman. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys a few things right before we go into it. So these are just the polls. Uh, right now I am at number two and uh, USC is at number one. Um, I actually got into the Heisman race after the first week, which was pretty cool. Um, with you, or you see the performance right there. Uh, close to 400 total yards and six total touchdowns and then do have Florida this week so um, obviously one of the biggest matchups of the season and it comes in the fourth week my second game of the season so that's a pretty big one it is in the swamp which in NCAA 06 is the loudest stadium on the game so that's cool too um, first game obviously went well I believe we won 66 13 so Hopefully we can have the same luck this week. So we get a good start on the return here. Um, start with the ball on about the 40, I believe. Uh, first play does not go very well from scrimmage. And uh, coming up on the second play here. Looks like I'm going to scramble for about, I believe it's about an 8-yard run, maybe about a 5-yard run. So for about a 5-yard run right up, right, up the, uh, right up the sideline. Third play is an interception so I'm not sure if that actually I something skipped over real quick so uh, at the beginning of games this year I have had a little bit of problem with uh, interceptions and I believe that yes that one did turn into seven points because I wanted to show you guys that play right there uh, that ridiculous play looked like it was going to be an interception bounced off my guys hands ended up in their hands for a touchdown so a little bit unfortunate stuff there but uh, you know what I think we're going to be alright uh, I got a good team behind me and uh, should be good enough to respond. So start with a little six yard run up the middle and um, see if we can get back on track here. Notch the first down, which is good. Third play from scrimmage. Hand it off again. Take the option, about a 10-yard gain on the play. Now, one of the things that I have noticed this season is that um, I am much, much, much better at the triple option than the speed option right now, which was uh, something that I noticed in NCAA Football 14 as well. And that is something I've been working on. I've just I don't time my pitches very well. It's getting better, but uh, like I said, it's something that's going to get better over time. The turnovers was obviously a big problem in the first game. I believe it was somewhere in the ballpark four turnovers. So uh, I believe the fact I think I only got one this game. I want to say there was only one. Um, get a good completion from about 15 yards down the middle to number three there. Um, start of a pretty good game passing for me after the uh, after we get the whole pick out of the way a little impact break or broken tackle there uh, Gerald Riggs number 21 at running back has been very very solid uh, so far this year he might end up in the Heisman race as well get a little scramble for about 20 25 yards one of the better runs of my or better one of the better runs of the game so far for me um, and I believe we do convert here close to an interception there though So, takes the handoff up the middle, goes in for the touchdown, ties the game up at 7. Uh, so, big play there. Gets the punt after a, I believe it was a 3 and out by Florida. And then not much doing on the return there. Um, little scramble up the middle, not looking too much. So, one thing that I've also noticed this season is the running back that I get after this guy graduates. Oh, looking for a big play here down the middle or down the sideline, caught and touchdown, big throw right there. Uh, number one comes up with a 69-yard touchdown pass. Uh, big play, biggest play of the game so far for us. Uh, so it looks like Florida goes on another three and out. Um, I'll get to what I was saying in a sec, but uh, gets the punt. This was a pretty terrible punt. Uh, gave us a real nice field position, I think like the 45 or something like that. But what I was saying was, uh, after Gerald Briggs is gone, because I believe he is a redshirt senior on this game, um, then I do have Arian Foster in the backfield for th two or three years. So um, that'll be cool. 
I believe he's an, he's an 82 overall as a freshman, so uh, he'll be solid. So get the pitch here, nice broken tackle. Like I said, trying to get my pitch's time better. That one was a little bit better. Uh, good broken tackle by Gerald Riggs. Nice 11, 12 yard gain on the play. Moving the chip or moving the sticks for a first down. Nice little pass up the middle, about 10, 20 yards. Um, try the QB sneak up the middle. That does not work. But try it again on the next play, and we do get in for the touchdown. All right, so. I believe after an interception, take over at the seven yard line, looking to uh, extend the lead a little bit past 21. Uh, him to Gerald Riggs. Looks like he got the first down, not 100% sure. Um, nope, so then hand it off up the middle here and do get the first down. Ball on the 22 yard line. Uh, speed option, or triple option, not really going anywhere. Taken down for a tackle, or taken down for a tackle on the loss on the play, about two yards. But I do scramble out to the outside here for a good gain of about 25, um, maybe 20 yards. It was a, uh, it, and again, one of the other things I've noticed this year is I do a lot better when scrambling off the run than I, or scrambling off a pass play than I do off an actual designed QB run play. Uh, I believe that's a pretty normal thing just because when I play NCAA 14 or really any other NCAA game to begin with, I have better luck running the ball when I do it as on pass play and there's no uh, linebackers playing in the zone on the outside. Or if there's any linebackers play or that are playing a spy or if they're playing a contain and they're getting past my offensive linemen, then that's not good either. But none of those things are really happening too much this game, or the last game for that matter. So uh, that helped out a lot. Um, Gerald Riggs getting the uh, getting a few broken tackles in this game, which is good. Brings it down to about the three-yard line. Uh, drawn to the close in the first half here. Um, I believe we take it in. If we don't take it in for the touchdown here, it is on the next play. Floor, uh, Ben Hill Griffin Stadium getting a little pumped up, the swamp. Like I said, it is the loudest stadium on the game. So do not get in for the touchdown there. I do believe we get in on the next play. Uh, not sure if I ran in or not. Or Oh, threw it in. Touchdown to the tight end, number 87. Um, I believe that's his first touchdown catch of the year, so that's good. Uh, punting it off here. Kind of a failed juke. So taking over, looks like about the 40-yard line. And off, up the middle. Ton of broken tackles, good 25, 30-yard run by Gerald Riggs. Trying to scramble, doesn't look, there, look like there's much room, but passing it off to number 13. And he will run it in for the touchdown, giving us the 35-7 to lead. So after it's cut down, I believe it's 35-10 to now. Um, we do get the ball back, looking to extend the lead to 42 to 10. Not give the ball back to them, let them get back in the game. A little option on the outside, looks like maybe a seven-yard gain right there by Andy Milley. Thrown incomplete. That I think I accidentally pressed the button to throw it away accidentally, but I am going for it on fourth down. See if I can uh, notch the fourth down conversion here. Pass number 13 gets about the 10-yard gain on the quick slant. So first down and 10. Going for it on fourth down does pay off. Run to the outside. Scramble for about 12 yards. And another first down. Hands it to Gerald Riggs. Gets to about the 10-yard line. And good 25, 30-yard run on the play. I am brought down for the sack there. Offensive line kind of let up a little bit. Pass up the middle down to about the four yard line. Stopped at the goal line right there after the uh, rollout completion. So, so we do get the touchdown there, brings it to 42 to 10. Looking like a solid, solid return. Good blocking. Good 20, 25 yard return right there. Brings it to the 48 yard line. Oh, weird. Sorry. 
did get a uh, interception return for a touchdown earlier, so that does bring it to 49 to 10. Scramble on the outside, looking maybe get about five yards on the play. Actually, gets around seven. Bring it up second down. Runs to the outside. I believe that does notch the first down. So yeah, I think I am well over 100 yards rushing this game. Pass the outside. Nice catch by number 13 on the sidelines, bringing it down for the 30-yard gain on the play. Scramble to the outside. Looking, tossing up to number one, and catches it, or, yeah, I believe that's number one for the touchdown. Brings it to 56 to 10, uh, giving it a, giving us a real solid lead over uh, the number seven team in the country. 309 total yards, or total yards rushing on the day. Good effort between Andy Milley, the fullback, and uh, Gerald Riggs, number 21 in the backfield. Gerald Riggs gets outside, tries to spin. It's about five yards on the play. Carry by the fullback up the middle for the first down. You know, about ten on the play. Scramble, Andy Milley. Nice juke down to about the two-yard line. And then I believe Gerald Riggs will run it in for the touchdown. Oh, not sure if that was the fullback. But, yes, that brings us to the end of the game. And a uh, big win over one of our rivals, a huge 63-10 win, giving us uh, our second our second consecutive 50-point win on the year. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Um, obviously, a solid game here, and uh, see if I can further my Heisman contention. And um, you know, next game is against LSU in the swamp, so not playing in any easier of environment. And got another tough team coming up, but uh, yeah, happy with the season so far, and. Uh, Catch the next one, like I said, when we play the LSU Tigers. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah.